As part of my foundation course, today I'm going to be showing you some of my favorite all-rounder foundations. So these are the ones that I have in my professional kit that are foundations that I come back to time and time again, simply because they work well on lots of different skin types and in lots of different situations. So none of these are particularly cheap, but these are the ones that I can rely on and I have in my kit. So I'm going to start with Chanel's Vita Lumiere Aqua, and this has probably only been out for about 18 months, but it has become one of my favorites. And the reason being is that it's very, very light. It is a silicone and water formulation, so it, it's quite thin. It needs a good shake up before you apply it. I like to apply it with fingers. And although it's called Vita Lumiere and you think it's for dry skin, it is more of a semi-matte finish. Although it has luminosity, it's definitely more of a semi-matte finish. And for this reason, I think it's great for everyone from kind of normal to combination and normal to dry skin. And the reason being is that it has, on one side it has oil absorbing properties, but it also has skincare and moisturizing benefits. So it means really that your drier areas or dry skin isn't going to be dried out anymore and your oily areas aren't gonna to look too luminous and, and shiny. And of course, if you do have combination skin and you're quite oily, you can always add powder on top of it into the onto the oily areas. So I think it's a really nice one um, because it's very, very natural. So I, I use it on actresses when they are being interviewed close up in sort of daylight because it's you can't really see it on the skin. It's It's pretty much imperceivable. It doesn't highlight pores or stick on the surface of the skin and um, it's just a lovely everyday foundation. It also has an SPF of 15 and some extra UVB protection so it's just a nice one for putting on every day. It's easy and um, for this reason it's definitely made it into my kit. So the next one is Makeup Forever HD Foundation and I really like the texture of this. It's quite a light texture. It's an oil-free formulation and it's also a silicon and water formulation. So it really glides on nice and smooth. It's lovely to apply. You can use fingers, brush, sponge, whatever. It is, because it's devised for HD television, it contains micro pigments. So it's one of those that you can really build to a medium coverage and, and more without it becoming very heavy and very cakey and obvious on the skin. And one of the reasons I particularly like it is that it doesn't contain any SPF. So if I'm ever in a situation where I'm not quite sure how much flash photography there's gonna be, for me, that's a real safe bet to use on a celebrity or an actress or whoever. It does have moisturizing properties, quite a lot of skincare benefits and moisturization. So. I think it's good for everyone from sort of normal to dry, normal to combination, but I don't particularly feel it's great for the real dry, very dry skins or the very oily skins. You can, however, use it on a combination skin and use a little bit of powder, but um, it's just one of, it's just a really nice all round formulation that is easy to apply. It does look natural, but you can get quite good coverage from it. And one of the best things is that it has 25 shades. So if you're someone that finds it hard to find the right shade for you, there is a great spectrum there of colors. The next one is MAC Pro Long Wear. And this is a super long lasting foundation that I particularly like to use when I am shooting something where, I don't know, it's really, really hot or I want a really good coverage on the models or, or something like that. It is a medium coverage, but it's buildable to heavy I'd say and, and full coverage so it's good if you are maybe going out in the evening and um, you want something that's going to really stay on really give you that you know total uniformity if you do need quite a bit of coverage and it only has an SPF of 10 so it's quite a low SPF so it photographs pretty well it comes in about 17 shades so it's got a good selection of shades and you can apply it it's best applied really with a brush or sponge but it's a little bit goes a long way so you'll be amazed how this builds up to full full coverage very quickly but it really does last if anything I find it quite hard to remove when I've used it on models for shoots and I found oil to be the best oil based um, remover to be the best thing to take it off but I find it to be good. 
Another MAC one, and this is MAC Face and Body. And anyone that watches my videos will know this is an absolute favourite of mine. It's been in my kit for 20 years now. I absolutely love it. It's a very light coverage foundation. So if you want a very natural look and you're prepared to do a little bit of concealing afterwards, or if you're someone that just naturally has very good skin, it is perfect. It's a water-based foundation. It needs quite a lot of shaking up before you use it. Um, and it's quite a strange texture if you're not used to it. It comes out sort of watery and a bit gloopy and a bit sort of strange. I find that fingers are the absolute best way to apply it and it really needs working in a lot. So you have to kind of, you feel like it's almost not going to work and then suddenly it just sets and it's beautiful. It's extremely long lasting and water resistant. It contains a very strong film former, which means that's what you sort of feel when you're applying it, the film former sort of settling. But once it's settled, it, it, as I say, it forms a film and it sets. So it's not going to come off or come off on clothes, which is why it's fantastic as well for bodies, for legs, for arms, any exposed skin. It has no SPF, so again, it's a really nice one if you're unsure if you're going to be photographed. And um, for me, it, that's a real godsend. And it's it's just a great product. I go through mountains of it. It comes, this is the 120 mil size that I use. It comes in 13 shades, and they're really good shades. But you can also get a 50 mil, which I'd say if you're not going to use it that often, if you're not someone that maybe likes a light coverage every day then um we're just gonna use it for weekends or something then get a smaller size because if you just leave it to sit there it can go the texture can go a little bit strange again because of the film former the film former in it actually is so good that um i sent it several years ago to a lab that i was working with to have them analyze it and break down all of the ingredients because I, I wondered what the film former actually was and it came back that it's the same ingredient that's used in you know those dual lip products lots of brands make them where one side really stains your lips and then there's a gloss the other side and it contains that that real staying power that they have in which um, explains why it just doesn't come off I mean you can get in the shower practically if you've got it on your body and you can see the kind of water rolling off it so I use it loads on shoots and um it's, it's, as I say, it's, it's a classic and it's great for so many different skin types. It's not too dewy, it's not particularly matte, it's in the middle, it's a natural finish. So if you are oily, you will need to powder, but um, it's, it's a classic. My next all-rounder is Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. And this is a great foundation. It has a, a lovely smooth texture. It's a silicon-based foundation, which... You can apply it quite light, but it's sort of a medium coverage, but it's you can either take it down to light or build it up to heavy coverage, full coverage. It is a joy to use. It's great for so many different skin types. It has a mixture of sort of, it's oil free, but at the same time, it's quite hydrating. So for that reason, it covers again, everything from the normal to dry and the normal to oily. If you are oily though, you, you'll find that it hasn't got enough absorbency. So you will need powder and it's probably not great for very oily skin. But it's one of those that um, I know lots of wedding photographers and uh, wedding makeup artists and things use because it does photograph beautifully. It has something about it which is sort of luminous but without shine. It, the pigments are beautifully blended and um, it just creates that lovely flawless look without ever looking heavy or dense. So it's a really good foundation. So last but not least is YSL's Le Ton Touche Eclat. And this is something that had a lot of hype when it came out this year and people have been waiting for years really to see this foundation. Now you probably know I've never been the biggest fan of Touche Eclat, the concealer or the highlighter rather. So um, I was a little bit skeptical, but I have to say this foundation is absolutely fantastic i think it's one of the best all-rounder foundations that have come out recently and it's absolutely made it into my kit the reason being it's very densely pigmented but you, you so you only need the tiniest amount but it glides on beautifully it has the most beautiful optical blurers so you get that luminosity and that flawlessness without ever looking heavy 
And um, it's one of those foundations that when I've worn it, people say, oh, your skin looks amazing. You know, you look great. Um, people really notice it, that you have that almost that glow to your skin. It is one that I say is good for lots of different skin types. I wouldn't say it's great for very oily or extremely dry, but I think everything in between it can cover. And particularly because you can use oil absorbing powder over the top. It can be applied again with finger sponge or brush, whichever one you prefer. My only issue with it is that it is SPF 19. Um, although it's a very sophisticated SPF and um, it's probably less likely for you to have flashback, I was nervous about using it on any one on the red carpet until about two months ago when I worked with an actress who had this in her makeup bag and she asked me to use it for the red carpet and I said, oh, you know, it would be your responsibility because I'm worried about the SPF. Having said that, it looked great. I looked at all the pictures the next day and there was no flashback at all. I've used it myself and whether it was just because I was photographed with like an iPhone flash, which is not as sophisticated as the paparazzi, and I did get a bit of flashback from it. So it really depends. Um, you might want to, when you try it out, take a few photographs and see how your your skin is with it. But I'd say it is it is a really, really beautiful foundation that I really enjoy using. It, it's an absolute pleasure and it does make the skin look stunningly beautiful. So that's it for my favorite all-rounder foundations. But I do also have two other videos in this series for dry skin and oily skin foundations. So please check those out if you fit into either of those categories. But I hope that was helpful and I'll see you soon.